Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon Ghost Game video. This time I'm going to be reviewing the latest episode of Ghost Game, which is episode 45, Ghost Newspaper. Once I'm done with that, I'm also going to be going over the recently revealed Gammon Dim and the evolutions that are appearing on that Dim card. As I mentioned, I'll be doing this at the end of the review on the basis that some people watching this video may not want to see these designs just yet because they're trying to avoid them until they appear on the show or in some other way. So I'm going to honour that, so if you don't want to see those designs, just watch the start of the episode and not the end. I'm also going to be going over why I think I was completely wrong last week by saying that Ghost Game is probably going to be ending in the next few months. I honestly, at this point, and I'll explain why at the end of the video, see why this would be ending this year at all. I can't imagine it ending this year. Uh, next year, sure, but this year, I'm very sceptical of it's going to end this year, Like, which is the opposite of what I was saying in last week's video. So in any case, first up, reviewing episode 45. This episode has a Mon of the Week that is causing accidents to people but writing about them on a news blog prior to that event. So if that person tries to avoid it, they're kind of lured out. So if, for example, Kiyoshiro reads that he's going to have something drop on his head and cause a severe skull fracture, which is kind of spooky. So he's like, I will just hide in the bed and I, no, nothing will fall on my head. I'll be, I'll be safe here. However, he's actually lured out by the Mon of the Week, who scares him into going outside. And the only reason he is saved is that Espimon is able to stop him from being hit on the head and given a severe skull fracture. So that's the kind of the thing that happens in, the, in this week's episode. A blog post is posted about some horrific tragedy that will befall that character at this specific date. And then the thing happens. For example, Ruli's friend is actually hit by a truck. She survives. They quickly say afterwards that she was just unconscious and that she survived. But it is quite worrying to see that. I thought they were actually going to kill one of Ruli's friends. They didn't end up doing it, but they still... It, it was still kind of a scary moment. The fact that a character kind of, like, disses the journalist also makes them a target. So that's why Kiyoshiro was targeted, because he's kind of sceptical in the whole thing, and so was Ruli's friend. So he gets targeted. The Mon of the Week also wants more people to be able to speak about this journalist article, so he targets an idol group that Kiyoshiro is a fan of. The main characters end up tagging along to a recording and basically protect the idol group. However, one of the youngest characters who ends up losing the cooking challenge that they're doing has to skydive, and the article is then changed to say that she will die in a skydiving accident. Gammon and Hero tag along, the Mon of the Week pushes her out of the plane, and Hero and Gammon end up going to save her. And by that I mean Gammon grabs Hero and jumps out of the plane. Thankfully he does have Chaos Gammon, which is always great to see, and they are able to reveal that it is a completely new Digimon, Publimon. So it's great to see a new Digimon who hasn't been in anything else that I've ever seen, hasn't appeared in the card game, hasn't appeared on a dim card yet. So this is a completely new Digimon that's debuting in this episode, hasn't debuted anywhere else. That's kind of cool, not often that happens. And the whole time I was trying to guess which Digimon it was, I was like, I can't tell. And you don't actually know until the last few minutes what the Digimon is called or what the Digimon looks like. You get kind of shots of the hands or like the smile, but you don't actually see the Digimon. And for a long time, I was almost expecting it to be an Atmon because it's very Atmon in nature and how it looks and how it kind of works. This feels like an episode of Atmon rather than an episode of Ghost Game. That's a good thing because I really like Ghost Game. If this was an episode of uh, Atmon, rather, I really like Atmon and I really like Ghost Game. So if this was an episode of Atmon, it would be kind of, kind of like a, I guess, middle of the road episode of Atmon because Atmon was quite good. But this is kind of like a middle of the road episode in general. So in any case, they end up fighting this Publimon and I was really excited to know more about this Digimon. However, when they end up going to the ground eventually, because that's how jumping out of a plane works, you eventually reach the ground, Publimon dies. Like, he just falls. He falls to his death. And I was not expecting that from this new Digimon. I was kind of like, oh, I was kind of hoping we got, like, another reoccurring 
Mon, but it's also kind of nice that we didn't have to do the old, oh, people don't like being murdered. Naughty Digimon, naughty. We didn't do that. It was just a, a, a death, which is fine, but I'm kind of bummed we don't get to know more about this new Digimon because we kind of just had him do a bunch of attacks in, in a pretty cool situation. Great animation. I love his, his, he attacked with like keyboards, which was kind of cool. Again, very Appmon, which is great timing because yesterday was actually the sixth anniversary of Appmon debuting. So kind of funny timing there. It's probably just a coincidence because of the hiatus kind of pushing everything out by a few months. But anyway, I like this episode. I like seeing new Digimon, especially new Digimon that are completely new. Like I haven't even seen this Digimon before. I'm glad I wasn't scrolling through Twitter at the, earlier before I watched the episode because I was fairly surprised to see a new Digimon. But in any case, that was this week's episode. Kind of fine. I don't have any bad points of this episode, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favourites. It's just kind of like an episode that happened. It was good. It didn't have anything wrong with it. But it kind of just ticked all the boxes that it needed to do, but it didn't do anything else. Like, it, it didn't, like, go beyond an episode. It's definitely, like, a good episode, but it's not, like, it's not pushing any limits of what a good episode is. And I'm, I don't think I'll forget it, but I can see if I do forget this, this episode happened in a few months, other than just the fact that there was a new Digimon. I might only remember this episode because there was a new Digimon. There was another point that Jellymon was actually being nice in this episode, which is pretty cool because last week's episode she was called out for being kind of awful and getting people in trouble. This time she wanted to save one of the idol members because of how much this idol group meant to Kiyoshiro. So that was nice as well. So those are basically my thoughts for the moment on this episode. I will probably have more thoughts by the time I record the podcast in a little bit with Quinn and Chloe. So stay tuned for that, I guess, to see if my thoughts on the episode change at all. But for now, it's just a fine episode. And now that we're done with that, uh, we can go over the Gammon Dim card. Again, if you're not interested in seeing these designs, uh, probably you can skip to the end or just close this ta this uh, browser tab or window or whatever, uh, because I don't want to spoil anything that people don't want to know about. So with that out of the way, so the other day we had the Gammon Dim that's appearing on the Dual V Digivice, which is the upgraded Digivice V, which still hasn't appeared in the show, but we can buy it and for its November 26th release. So this Gammon Dim card is pretty cool. So we've got all the adults from the other Dim cards. We've got Battle Gammon, Chaos Gammon, Wesen Gammon, and of course Ghoulis Gammon. The adults are the same. We also have ones that you unlock by doing the adventure missions. So that's Seals Dramon, who was in the Ghoulis Gammon debut episode. And we've also got children that unlock, uh, like, Bokemon and Koemon, or Monmon, however you want to, whatever localization you want to use for that name. But in terms of the perfect level Digimon, this is where things get a bit different. Of course, we have Canon Weissmon. That's to be expected. He was on the other one. But from then on, it's fairly new. So we've got Fumamon, who's like a ninja buddy dude. We've got Gillydomon, who's wearing a ghillie suit. Super cute. We've got Bomamon, who's like a little robot ghost thing. We've got Zanmetsumon, who looks kind of like Zubamon, judging by the tail, so I'm not sure if Zubamon will tie in at all. And then we've got Regulusmon. Now, this Digimon looks like it could be like a dark version of Canon Weissmon. It's got the same sort of wings, but they're torn. They've got the same sort of tail, but it's more like demonic. And we've got the same sort of head but it's also, yep, evil looking. So it looks like a, well, the name implies that it's Gulusmon, but it's Gulusgammon, but evolved. It's, it's Regulusmon. So that's pretty cool. It's got the same color scheme as Gulusgammon. So I guess it's an evolution from that, which means that Gulusgammon is going to evolve onwards or Gammon's going to have another freak out and then end up evolving to a perfect form rather than another Gulusgammon. So that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And then we have Vamdemon, who is a Digimon who's appeared on another Dim card, but gets unlocked. And that kind of makes sense, because that was in the Canon Weissmon debut episode, even though, in my mind, that episode was still a Ruli episode. 
So those are the perfect level Digimon. Next we have the Mega Digimon. We have two from the previous Gammon Dim card. We've got Cannon Demon and Spinomon. So that's that. That's fine. They're allowed to be there. I guess they couldn't just have like two evolutions. But we do have some new ones. We have Cirrusmon, who is one would guess Cannon Weissmon's natural evolution. They look fairly similar, but. He also has sort of the colour scheme from Gulus Gamamon, so that's pretty cool. We also have question mark, question mark, question mark, which looks like it could be honestly an evolution from Zanmetsumon, so that's a possibility if that is like Zubamon coming back or it's a new Digimon who just looks like, happens to look like Zubamon and have his tail. So there is that, it could be just another evolution from a Gamamon evolution. But I doubt that because we do also have further down the bottom another question mark, question mark, question mark, which I would guess would be a Cirrusmon, but with Gulus Gammon slash Regulusmon's color scheme. It looks kind of like Gulus Gammon, but it also kind of looks like Cirrusmon, so I would expect that to be another Gammon evolution. And then we have either Sukuyamon or Kazuyamon, which is. Sukuyamon's purple variant, and that's something that I guess hasn't appeared in the show yet. We had we did have Dormon, and we also had the purple variant Cubimon that I can't remember its name, so it wouldn't be surprised me if we got the purple variant Sukuyamon as well, but that's a Digimon that hasn't appeared uh, in the anime yet. So there you have it. We have a bunch of Digimon who haven't appeared yet, uh, I don't think Fumumon, Gilidomon, Zanmetsumon, or Bombumon are evolutions from Gammon, but I, we at least have, I would say, what, three more Gammon evolutions? We have the extra perfect level Regulusmon, and then we have at least two Megaforms, because I don't think the other question mark, question mark, question mark is a Gammon evolution. So we have Cirrusmon, and then the... I'm just going to say Gulusmon Mega, because that's all I can think of it being. So we at least have three more evolutions for Gammon to have four Mega level. I'm hoping that Jellymon and Angoramon get the same kind of treatment with having multiple Mega forms and multiple perfect forms. I don't see that happening because Gammon already has four adult level evolutions. Uh, the rest only have one. So, but I, I can be hopeful. I can definitely be hopeful here. But uh, yes, yeah, so that that's kind of cool. I do like seeing these, but judging by the fact, as I said, we've got three more evolutions for Gammon, I can't see this show ending anytime soon because that means that you also have to have Jellymon and Angoramon also getting to Mega, as well as these three additional evolutions for Gammon, or at least three, just depending what the other question mark, question mark, question mark Digimon is. So. In that case, that's at least six more evolutions that we... Or, no, five more. My math, maths is hard. Three plus one plus one. That equals five. Follow for more math tips. Uh, anyway, so we still have those five more evolutions at least. And we know that this show likes to spread out the evolution episodes. So I can't imagine them finishing this super soon, considering there's only two months-ish left in this year. And that's only, yeah, there's like at least 10 more episodes left and I can't imagine them doing all five and then an additional five, six, seven episodes of just non-evolution stuff, maybe wrapping up arcs. I can't imagine them doing anything else in, in terms of episodes. I, I, can, I, I can't imagine them just doing that super rushed because of how spaced out everything else has been in Ghost Game. So... I want to say that there's probably at least 20 episodes left in this series, which would put us to 60-something. So 66 was how many episodes? Or was it, six? it was either 66 or 67 we got out of Adventure Colon. I can imagine it being the same length of Adventure Colon, perhaps longer. Who knows? But it's definitely not ending this year. It's not going to be under 60 episodes. Unless they end it, like, right before the end of the year. But even then, I can't imagine them wrapping it up that soon, especially because they do need to do at least five other evolutions. 
if Zan Metsumon and the other question mark, question mark, question mark are indeed evolutions from Zubamon or whatever Digimon, they also would need have need to have time to show off those Digimon. Uh, they also need to show the other Digimon, like Fumamon. People are saying that that could be Blacktailmon Uber's evolution. I, I can honestly th see that happening. So if that's the case, if all those Digimon also need to have their debut episodes, that definitely pushes it past this year, unless we have multiple of them showing up in an episode, which would be kind of a shame. I want to show these new Digimon off like we did with Publimon in this week's episode. But in any case, those are my thoughts about this week's episode, as well as the newly released Digimon, newly announced, newly revealed Digimon is probably the better way to say it, and also why I think I was completely wrong last week by saying it was wrapping up this year in time for the BE release. The BE release is November 26th. It's not going to happen in like a month or just under two months, basically. Can't see it ending anytime soon, which is good because I'm really enjoying Ghost Game. So that were th those are my thoughts for this week. So let me know your thoughts about this week's episode or these new Digimon in the comments below. Like this video if you're also very excited for the Vital Bracelet BE. Subscribe if you haven't already because I cover lots of Digimon news and Tamagotchi news and everything. So definitely check out the rest of my channel if that's something you're interested in. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!